This is a quick orientation video on Spatial Excel. If your Spatial Excel install has been successful, you will see a Spatial Excel tab that appears here. And this, when you click on it, will open up your Spatial Excel ribbon. The current version number that you have installed will display here. And if you click on the About Spatial Excel button, you can check that your license status is valid here. If not, you can click the Update License button, load license from file, and browse to where your license file is saved on your machine. If you don't have a license file or you have any errors with loading your license file, you can contact us with regards to this. Once you have installed and licensed Spatial Excel, you'll then be able to open your Spatial pane by clicking on the Show Spatial Excel button here. This will open up and dock your Spatial pane within your workbook. And we're currently working with a blank workbook, so we have no existing layers or data displaying on our map. If we were to open an existing workbook, where we had already mapped a number of data sets and layers, when we click on the Show Spatial Excel button, you'll see that the map will display with all of our layers displaying in our layer control. Map layers in Spatial Excel can be viewed by ticking the layers on and off within the layer control. And these layers can come from various sources. For example, a spreadsheet with coordinates can be mapped as a layer in Spatial Excel. We can also add shapefile boundaries such as population census boundaries, and we can create our own customized boundaries, for example, sales territories. We can also choose from various background layers, such as Google Roads or Bing Map satellite imagery. We can also float the Spatial Excel map by clicking on the Show Floating button, and this can be dragged across to a second screen. To dock this back in our spreadsheet, we can simply close the floating view. We can access a number of menus and tools from within Spatial Excel. For example, at the top here we have our Spatial Ribbon. And if we double click on a tab, we can dock this here. And each tab contains a number of tools that can be used within Spatial Excel. For example, here we have our drawing and editing tools, our map selection and analytics tools, utilities, and if you have the Root Excel add-in installed, it will display here as well. Here we have our quick access toolbar, which contains some of the most frequently used tools in Spatial Excel that come from the Spatial tabs. And this can be customized as required by right clicking and adding or removing tools to this menu. Below this, we have the map navigation tools that allow us to zoom in and out and pan around our maps. In the layer control box, we can right click any layer to access further layer functionality, for example, switching on labels or switching our themes, in this example, from sales territories to route day. If we right click the layer and go to the properties menu, this will bring up the layer properties box where we can view general settings on the layer and also make any changes, for example, to the layer styling to labels, and we can create our various map thematics here. These are various color-coded layers, heat maps, or image themes. At the bottom of the spatial pane, we have a start button, which gives us quick access to many of the spatial Excel controls. We also have our scale bar and our coordinates, which change as we move around the map. We can also access further menus for Spatial Excel by clicking on the View tab and, for example, adding the Print menu, which allows us to set up print templates to print maps directly from Spatial Excel. We could also add the Dashboard menu, which allows us to create graphs and do analytics from within Spatial Excel. If we click on the File button here, it allows us to open, export or copy our Spatial Excel maps. 
And in our Spatial Excel ribbon at the top, we have a number of additional tools here that all apply to working with Excel data that we map within Spatial Excel.